Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be a really, really fun one. Uh, I thought it'd be really, really cool to take a look at Left 4 Dead, specifically the second game, and rank all of the Special Infected. So for those of you who do not know, the uh, Special Infected are zombies that aren't the traditional zombies. They have usually special abilities and unique uh, looks and all that. So I'm going to be going through all eight uh, Special Infected in Left 4 Dead 2 and ranking them in terms of which one's my least favorite to which one's my most favorite. So there's going to be two main criteria when it comes to this list, uh, the first of which being the actual visual design of the Special Infected, as well as your encounter with it and how spooky it is and how action-packed it is. And do remember guys, this is my own personal opinion, if you've played Left 4 Dead and love it very much, let me know what your favorite Special Infected are down in the comments down below, and without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> The first one on the list is our big bloated belching friend, the Boomer. The Boomer is basically this giant lug of a man, very obese, and he throws up on you and that is his main form of attack. And if you shoot him, he'll explode and if you're too close to him, you'll get covered in bile, which attracts a horde. I like the Boomer quite a bit, it's just that his attack is kind of underwhelming. If you see him from a distance, you just kind of shoot him and make sure no one else is near him. But he can be a real pain in the rear end if you're already being tackled by a horde, or if you get got by like a smoker or a hunter and a Boomer just happens to be right there. But overall, the Boomer is a pretty cool infected. There's no infected on this list that I hate, it's just that the Boomer, to me, is the least impressive. Next up is everyone's favorite unpredictable face humping friend, the Jockey. The Jockey is one of those weird special infected that I don't know how to properly describe his looks. Besides the fact that he looks like a kind of a drunk hunchback Irishman, I mean that's the only thing I can think of. Basically, he'll come around, he'll jump on your head, and he'll try to steer you from the other direction and try to separate you from your team. They could be especially a nuisance to deal with if someone has separated from the group and then a Jockey gets them. That's the thing with the Jockey though, I absolutely hate encountering this thing. And every time I encounter a Jockey, even if I am with my teammates, he's always just a pain to deal with. Again, you know, there's not a special effect that I hate on this list, he's great, he's brilliantly designed, because I don't even know how to describe him, but out of encounters, I absolutely loathe encountering this guy. Next up is our favorite guy with a wandering tongue, the Smoker. Basically, the Smoker is kind of the sniper of the uh, Special Infected. He'll wait far, far away, and he'll grab you with his tongue and drag you towards him. The Smoker is another one that could be a real pain in the butt to deal with, because it can separate you from the group if the smoke is really, really far away. I really like the Smoker because I think his attack is really, really interesting. He's grabbing with his tongue, you know, he's, he's reeling you in. And he's just overall really, really good Infected. Next up is everyone's favorite Infected that apparently can't get a girlfriend and does a little too much on his own in bed, the Charger. So basically, the Charger is like a football player. He comes and he rams you down, and once he gets you, he just slams you into the ground like there's no tomorrow. Obviously, one arm is more buff than the other, and it's, it's, it's kind of weird to think about what he's been doing with that one arm. It could be steroids that he only injected into one arm. I don't know, but the Charger is a really, really cool infect, and I think he's a really cool one to look out for because... Basically, if you are in a predicament where you're near a ledge or you're near something to where the character can fall and die, a charger is an absolute death sentence for you. And overall, he's just a very cool looking infected. I really like the charger a lot. And uh, yeah, so the charger has got to be uh, number five. Next up is everyone's favorite acid spitting prostitute, the spitter. The Spitter is probably my favorite in terms of overall visual design, just because there's a lot of character to her. Not because I'm, you know, getting off to her or anything like that, but I definitely like the design of the Spitter, and I think her attack is really interesting. Kind of like the Charger, if you're in a certain predicament where you're waiting in an elevator going down the mall, or you're on that uh, one boat thingy that goes across the water, if you get spit on by the Spitter, yikes, that's a bad day for you. Like the Smoker, Spitters are kind of sniper enemies. They want to kind of be far away and spit. And kind of like the Boomers, when they die, a whole bunch of acid just kind of comes out and goes all over the floor. So they are best to be avoided. You want to keep your distance, but you also want to stay out of their line of sight so that they don't spit at you. But yeah, I do really like the Spitter, and thankfully she is not a swallower. Boom! Next up is everyone's favorite Spider-Man wannabe, the Hunter. I feel like people are going to get at me for putting the Hunter so high on this list, but the thing is, I like how simple the Hunter is. If he isn't crouching, he literally just looks like any other common infected, just with a large hoodie. 
basically what he does is he pounces on you and he just rips you to shreds until, well, until you die. And I think he's absolutely great. Like I said, he's got a very simplistic look, but I think it works out well for him because it makes him kind of blend in with the crowd. Though his loud, ear-piercing scream definitely does give him away, which is another feature I love about him. He's actually pretty scary to encounter, hearing his scream, just seeing him leap after you, especially if he misses the first time, he's just leaping, trying to get you. It's actually pretty freaky. Hunters are pretty easy to deal with though, especially if your teammates are around, he's usually just kind of one or two shots and he's kind of off of you, but the hunter is still a very funny and infected to encounter if infected uh, encounters are fun, but yeah, I like him. Next up is everyone's favorite steroided up beast on his fists, the tank. The tank is the most dangerous special infected in the whole entire game. Basically, it's a giant version of the thing from the Fantastic Four, and he can throw cars at you, he can do everything. He walks on his fist, he picks up rocks, sometimes he'll make rocks out of wood or something that isn't a rock and he'll just chuck him at you. He is dangerous. Usually, if you and your team throw a Molotov at him and team up on him, he's usually not much of a problem, but when you get to the end, or if you're playing the sacrifice, yeah, tanks can definitely become a real issue. I also really love the music of the tank. When you hear the music of a tank coming, there's, a, there's an alert sense in you that just goes on alert and prepares for inevitable danger you know that there's going to be a fight with a giant tank and it can be it can be something Lastly, our favorite woman who really needs a manicure, the witch, is my favorite special infected in Left 4 Dead. I've mentioned the witch before in my scariest moments in gaming video, but basically, the witch is a special infected who really doesn't do much. She's dormant, she's sitting, until you get close to her. She's the most dangerous special infected in the whole game, because usually, if, especially if you're playing on the hard difficulties, she can just instantly demolish and kill you. But like I said, for the most part, she's dormant. She's sitting and crying and weeping to herself, you know, probably reminiscing on the life she had before and now she's infected or whatever the case is. But if you shine a light on her, if you shoot her, if you make a loud noise around her, she'll start to rise and eventually she will just start charging at you and attack you furiously until you are dead. Just like the tank, her soundtrack is so perfect when you're approaching her, and it's honestly unsettling when you really start to hear that theme, because it gets louder the closer you get. So when you start to hear the faint signs of the witch theme, that's when you get all cautious and be like, flashlights off, let's tread carefully. So there you have it guys, that is the list of my favorite special infected in all of Left 4 Dead. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and like I said, send me your guys' lists. What are your favorite special infected? Leave that all down in the comments down below. I am going to be streaming Left 4 Dead 2 tonight, as I mentioned earlier, so definitely make sure to check out that stream tonight on Twitch. We are going to be playing Hard Rain on Expert Mode, solo. So that should be fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff down below. Make sure to click the notification bell so you're notified of when I upload a video. And check out the merch store. There's some cool Zack Pack merch up on there. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.